Um, is the need for the AOC and colleges to fully understand how the government is going to regulate the market. Brown came up with a very um, sexy uh, idea that um, uh, when the A-level results come out uh, and the proxy A-level results, we're not quite sure how they're going to do that with BTEC nationals, they would then add up all the scores of all the students and then set what they call a UCAS tariff to determine uh, um, uh, what a student had to have to be eligible to go to any higher education institution. So, for example, when you get three A-levels, uh, um, A2 levels, um, with um, three E's, you get a certain number of tariff points. If that's the threshold, um, that's the number of points you might need to go anywhere. If you haven't got that number of points, you can't get a student loan, therefore you have to go back and do some more A-levels or whatever. So that's how they're going to regulate the market. But everybody then said, well, what about all those adults that sort of skipped level three, went straight into industry, and now qualified mechanics? They haven't got any tariff points. How are they going to get on? So the Brown Review said, OK, and also we'll, we'll give institutional allocations um, uh, of, of student numbers to particular, uh, particular colleges and universities, uh, which is fine. But again, uh, there's a possibility then that um, you get little, little wars breaking out in the HE sector where people are trying to restrict people's numbers, which is what we've got now really. FE can't grow its HE and FE product because Hefke won't give us the numbers. They give it to the universities and actually they stop giving it to everybody at the moment because there's no money. So, but that's because it's working on a teaching grant system. So, but you know, uh, HE, uh, HE and FE and HE in colleges, we just have to be very mindful of the regulations that the government's going to put on how they're going to, they've got to regulate the supply of students running off to get students' loans, otherwise they'll have such a, um, a front-end debt. Because I have heard, when I spoke to the people who wrote the Brown uh, report with Lord Brown, that, um, uh, and I have, not, I have not, I can't substantiate, I can't find the figures, but what I was told was that the country has to get to a hundred billion pound debt before it starts to break even. So if you think about it, at the moment we have no um, Brown Review system. When it kicks in in 2013, you have X thousand students coming in, all borrowing nine thousand pounds a year plus their residential allowances. So they're all racking up debts of between twenty to, to forty thousand pounds, depending on what you're doing and how you're doing it. Well, until you earn 21,000, you don't pay anything back. So how big does that debt get before you start paying back and it starts to become a self-sustaining ecosystem? Well, the figure I've heard is 100 billion. Uh, and so um, the government will be very cautious about how that debt is built up and then the front-end front loading. So will they try to restrict things? And will um, universities and colleges work in particular ways, which restricts the market and doesn't allow colleges to, to expand in the same rate as, as universities might expand or be in the market? So the politics of how it all works, and you know, you can get quite Machiavellian about all these things and, and paranoid, and we shouldn't get paranoid about it, but um, uh, HE and FE has to have its fair share of the resources, and AOC has to make sure that we know what the game is and how it works so that we can maximise the potential for our, for our members really.